Utah's heat feels almost inescapable, especially for those who spend their days outside mm -hmm. and seeking shade often not an option in our urban areas. It is so hot. Fox 13 News reporter Jenna Breeze shows us how a new project can make Salt Lake City more resilient to heat. Native Utahns grow accustomed to the scorching summers. I think of it as surprising because I always associate um, Salt Lake with snow and winter. And so I think for a lot of people outside of the area, they'd be like, really? Professors at Utah State University say Salt Lake City is actually one of the hottest urban heat islands in the U.S. and are working to develop heat index maps. This can really help us to understand the distribution of the extreme heat and we can identify um, which communities are most subject to this heat. Wei Zhang is leading the project funded by NOAA, recruiting volunteers to be citizen scientists and help collect the data this Saturday when it will be close to 100 degrees. If you think about going up into the mountains, into the neighborhoods that have greater tree canopy, you might have cooler temperatures. And if you go towards the airport where you have, you know, less tree canopy, a lot of, um, black dark surfaces, a lot of buildings that trap the heat, you're going to have much higher temperatures. Volunteers will drive along specific routes over three separate one hour periods using a device attached to their car to collect data. It's really about engagement and and those data later on can be used for urban planning can you can be used to um, develop more heat resilient communities, you know, and also to address some public health problems at, uh, or at pollution. Daniela Hirschfeld expects the map will confirm her observations of environmental injustice. The neighborhoods that are likely to have the highest heat on Saturday are also the neighborhoods that have um, the lowest income brackets and a lot of minority populations. Salt Lake City, one of several cities involved in NOAA's global effort to address heat inequities across the country. In Salt Lake City, Jenna Bree, Fox 13 News, Utah. Now, the professors are still recruiting volunteers for data collection for this Saturday, the 15th. Volunteers will get a $25 gift card for helping out. You can learn how to get involved on our website, fox13now.com.